Hello and welcome back my beautiful people. In this video we will upgrade our Instagram bot because I got a comment who asked if we could make a function where we want to look at every story or looking at stories and therefore we will implement it today how the bot can look at stories and furthermore we will implement a method where we go to a specific user and looking through its highlights. Let's dig right into it. First of all, we want to change the way we're using our username and password because already uh, right now we hard coded it in here to get the username and the password in here. But maybe you want to upload your files to your own Git repository and don't want anyone to see your username and password hard coded in there. Yeah, therefore we make a new file, a new Python file which we call secrets. This file won't get uploaded to, uh, to your GitHub if you upload it there. And there we can simply make a username, make it caps lock to see that it's from there, and the password. And yeah, there you can fill in your username and your password, of course. And then in your normal file, we can simply go here from secrets, we import our username and of course our password and then underneath here where we normally hard coded it in we can simply use the username and here the password yeah like this so make sure to fill in your username and your password in here and then your password is a bit safer than before and after you used it try your bot once to check the login, if it's working correctly, then it's fine. Otherwise, you maybe had a typo in your username or your password. Yeah, but it definitely should work like this. Then, first, we want to go and make a function for our story watching. Therefore, we make dev watch underscore story stories. There we have a self, of course, and how long it should watch, like a watch time then firstly we make a pass in here to can start our bot and see uh, what we want to assess in the first way so we start our bot and now we are in here at your starting page because we had in the close pop-up we directly guided to our starting page and then story watching is pretty simple we go right click on your site inspect as always take this element uh, selector then we click on the first image and there yeah we have a glass press ctrl f and we see we have 33 matches and this are all of your stories so we can simply use this glass and make in here go rid of get rid of this make stories is equal to self dot we had multiple ones so we wait for objects by css selector because we have a class in here which we can simply assess and put this class in here like this and we want to click the first one because you always start with the first one then you wait and it by itself goes through all the stories then as we have a watch time in here we make a time dot sleep of the watch time you included in here Therefore, it will wait until the watch time is over and then it should do something. But first, let's have a look what's happening if we put it in here. There we make bot.watchstories and I make for 20 seconds. Make sure the watch time is always in seconds because the time to sleep is always passed in seconds in there. Then I will close it and restart it once more and we are currently then seeing what is happening. And now we are on the starting page. Then it clicks on the first story. Oh, my own story. <laughs> yeah. And then it automatically plays the stories on and on. And afterwards, it should click. After your watch time, it should click on this escape button. We could do it with an escape as well, but this button is quite good. And in here, you have a SVG with the area label Schließen. 
In English, it's called close, of course. Then we can close this. And now we might think there's a possibility that your watch time is greater than the time of all stories you could watch. Then the story would close automatically because when it's over, it closes and you're again on your starting page. And then we shouldn't look for this closing sign because we will get an error because there is no closing in there. Therefore, we can make it try, not with a point, but with a colon. And in there, we can check for this one. Therefore, we make close underscore story is equal to self dot wait for object in here by CSS selector again. And yeah, of course, I get here an error because the story is called with a y. y in here. Then we make it like this. And we had an SVG with the area label of Schließen. Therefore, we make SVG. Then this bracket. And in here, we can make our attribute, which is area minus label. And this should be equal to Schließen. Make sure to put close in here, otherwise it won't work for you. And then, of course, this will get only one. And we can click it. And now, there's the exception, which called accept. What should happen if it don't find this close button? Then our PC should simply do nothing. We can make a print. For example, story already finished. Then we don't get an error. It simply print us in the console over. Oh, the story is already over. So we can't close it, but it's already closed automatically. Yeah, and now we're opening the story. 20 seconds is a long time. And yeah, after 20 seconds, it closes automatically. Yeah, this was already the part of the story watching. Now we can go to the highlights. Therefore, let's check for NFL. For example, I, wrote, I watched them and they had uh, highlights. So we first need to go to this link again. Therefore, we make a new function because the highlight watching should be something else than the story watching. Therefore, we make dev watch underscore highlights. There we have a self. Then of course the user we want to guide to and the watch time as well because it's almost similar than before. Then we make here. Yeah. And in here we firstly make self dot browser dot get make an f string because we want to get the user in here and we simply put in the copied URL and get rid of the NFL and make it like user in here to directly guide to the next one. And as we're always knowing, we go to a new website. So we're refreshing our browser. We make a time.sleep in here to avoid some timeout errors. Then if we go in here, we check how we can access this one. Always the same way. And there's a class. Find this class. And yeah, man. This time Instagram is with us. And we're seeing the glasses are for all your highlights. So we copy the glass. We can close this right now. Make a highlight is equal to self dot wait for objects because we had multiple ones this time. And we simply access the class. Make a point before, put the class in here, and yeah. Then we want to click the first one, of course. Highlights at position zero dot click. And then we want to time dot sleep of the time of our watch time. Simple as that. And if the watch time is over, we want to close the story again. And yeah, I need to open up my browser again. Yeah, let's firstly implement the function because then we can see how the 
Um, the close button is implemented in the highlights, but I think it was the same way as in the stories. But we can have a look to see. Then we go to NFL in here. So you need to pass your user and then the watch time in seconds again. Let's have a look. And now we're getting to the NFL profile. I get the mouse away from here to see that it's clicking on its own. Then it goes to the story. And yeah, now it currently watches 20 seconds. Then it's doing nothing. So we check how we can close this. But I hope it's the same way. Yeah, we have an SVG with the area of Schließen of closing again for you guys. Or if you have another language, then make sure to use your language in here. You can simply access it the same way as me. Then we make the try again because there's the possibility of highlights less than your watch time again. Yeah, nothing special for you. Oh, not a colon. We make an underscore close story is equal dot self wait for object. This time we got a unique one again. And we make an SVG area label is equal to schließen. Then we click it. Click. And of course, in the exception, this time we write that the highlight is already over. So we automatically know in which function and in which method your bot is currently working. Highlight already finished. And as of this, this implementation is also finished. Now we check simply if it's working. And if it's working, you are ready to hit some stories. So now it's right redirected to the NFL. Then it's opening the story highlights. Now we're waiting for 20 seconds. And after 20 seconds, it closes automatically. Not gonna lie, this is working fantastically. And yeah, Ooh, I'm excited for the Super Bowl this year. Hope you liked the video, subscribe to my channel and comment for more ideas you have because your ideas are great guys. I want to implement all of your ideas, hopefully you leave me some and hopefully I see you next time again. Thank you for your attention.